hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please consider looking through the playlist and see if something resonates with you um hopefully you'll take a peek and you like something and you'll join the family to my returning subscribers thank you guys so much for coming back you guys know how much i love and appreciate you so so much so guys everything is always very general so anything you know like how to book with me, how to donate to my channel, how to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff is always going to be linked down below. So please feel free to take a look down below. Um, I go live often, you know, I try to do fun different things during lives and stuff like that. So I do go live often. I'm actually recording this video now thinking if I'm going to do a live maybe later on tonight. I don't know. I'm just kind of seeing how my energy is um, because I am putting Micah to bed now shortly like at 9 30 so i'm thinking you know maybe i'll do it a little bit later just because you know he'll fall asleep or whatever so we'll see but at any rate <clears throat> everything's always um linked down below and always you know hit the notification bell so you can see when i'm going live and stuff like that so i thought that i would do a collective love reading check-in right because we always want to kind of know like what's going on with our you know current situation and things like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a collective energy check-in for those of you who are in separation from your person and then i'm going to do another collective love reading for people who are in a current relationship or like a situation ship whatever comes out will come out right so i've actually been pulling oracle cards as tarot and then using tarot to clarify and i i kind of like it i'm not gonna lie i kind of like it i really love me some good oracle cards i really do um yeah, so we're going to do it. We're going to do it that way. And um, we're going to see what's going on collectively with whoever it is that you're dealing with that you're in separation from. I feel like I want to order more decks in regards to like people that are in separation because a lot of relationships go through separations a lot. You know what I mean? And sometimes it's nice to get insight into what the other person's thinking because if you do that, then you can at least try to understand the person better. So let's see. For my collective and who they are separated from. All right, so we're gonna leave the new love there and we'll see what's going on with that. For my collective. For my collective. So if I could get these two readings done, guys, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, like, if you could listen, it's so funny. But I was just thinking to myself, if I can get these two little videos done, just as like a quick energy check-in or whatever then i'll go live for a little bit and then i can always do the messages of the day in the morning morning so we'll see we'll see how i feel because then i'm thinking about just going live tomorrow wednesday you know like the day before christmas like you know eve or whatever so we'll see let's see if you love any engagements um yeah, we'll leave it like that. And then I'll pull a couple of these love cards and we'll just clarify these and then we'll pull some extra love cards. We'll just go the whole nine. Just to see, you know, just to see what's going on collective. Just to see what's going on collective. Let's see. Oh, that I wanted to reverse. Balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. Good Lord. Someone is going a spiritual transformation. These are just flying out. And now, mind you, this is not going to resonate with everybody, but this rejection is actually divine protection. All right, so let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on, collectors. So here you have new love, playfulness, it is safe for you to love, engagement, balance, awakening, and rejection. So overall, I feel like I'm, let's see. Because there's a, it's saying for you to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is going to lead you to that engagement, that, that level of ascending to a higher commitment, right? And then it says playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah. Okay. So I already knew that too, but then new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, but see for some of you, it could be a new love that's going to lead to that, right? To that engagement. But, and then, you know, because of that, there's rejection, protection, balance, you know, shit like that, right? But for a lot of you, you're reconciling with someone, reconciling with somebody, and it's going to feel like new love because you guys have grown, you've learned, 
you're going to try to remember to have that playfulness. You know what I'm saying? Because what happens a lot of the time is that when trust you feel is broken, it's hard for you to kind of gain that um, flirtatious type of energy back because you almost don't want to awaken yourself sexually to somebody if they didn't fulfill you emotionally. You know what I mean? So for a lot of you, you withdraw, you know, in that way. But they're saying not to do that because if it's worth it for you, then you know, you have to treat it as such and, and not be afraid to do that, right? But it says this rejection is actually divine protection. What's happening for some of you is that you're having to like wait on this person or if you're not having to wait on this person, you're deciding not to wait on this person. It's just that you just feel like it's not gonna like really like work out at this time anyway, you know what I mean? And then look, again, awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation and one person's giving too much in this relationship because a lot of you too, with this particular connection that I'm sensing is that, yeah, one of you is giving too much because one of you is doing the waiting. One of you is doing the waiting, you know, which is fine because you know that that's what the other person needs, which is fine. And that's why they're saying that, you know, it's safe for you to love. They're saying that it's a, it's a good connection, you know what I'm saying? But not to forget about this either, because if there, if there comes a time where you have to be apart or whatever, you know, that might be like hard for you, but it's just like, you know, and then some of you will probably have that awakening. Like, do I, you know, should we really go this far? Should we do it? Like, what are we going to do? Like, how, you know, because you guys are going to have to start realizing you have to have a heart to heart conversation about stuff. So let's see. Why is new love here? Why is new love here? All right. So they gave me them across. That's fine. Because that is what we shall do. What about balance? Or you know what? One person's giving too much of it. Yeah, those don't even really need to be clarified. Let's do thank you. I was going to do, we're going to do rejection. But why did I turn it over like that? That's hilarious. Okay. So yeah, look, pretty easy. So rejection, right? This rejection is actually divine protection. But paired with that, with the strength card, it's clarifying. It's like you're trying to be strong. You're trying to entrust in the divine that you're like, okay, you know what? Maybe let me just chill right now. Maybe let me just take a step back. You know what I'm saying? And really evaluate the situation. Really evaluate the relationship and see what's going on. Are we going to be able to move forward? Is this going to be like another point where we're going to have to take a break? What is the decision? You know what I'm saying? Like a heart to heart conversation needs to be had. You guys can't continue in the way that you're continuing by just kind of like <laughs> going with the flow. Like eventually something needs to happen where you figure out like, what the hell should we do, right? Now, new love got clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is when things start to spin in motion, right? Like the Wheel of Fortune is like when you when you start to get a turn of luck, you know, you start to just get lucky or whatever, look at pair with new love. You can be lucky in new love, or you can be lucky and have a renewed birth of love with your person that you feel this connection with, right? Either way, you know, either way it works out playfulness okay is um playfulness is, cl is clarified by the fool i be i'm laughing because hold on what oh i'm like in a way i'm like but wait a minute i'm like hold on anyway playfulness <laughs> right by the fool so it's like just like you know like a new a new take on things like a new a new adventure a new beginning in the relationship like seeing it with fresh eyes a good pair of eyes like knowing that like okay i really i'm gonna forgive this person i'm gonna move forward like maybe you used to send them cute pictures or like videos or like whatever and then you kind of like stop because you the trust went away or whatever and then it's like you know, like, you just don't know when, if you could start or not or whatever. Like, it's just, you know, they just want you to keep an open mind. Like, it could be a new pair of eyes, like a new beginning, you know, just a new, a new type of love, you know, with this person. All right. And then it's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to love. It's clarified by the King of Cups. Like, this person can be like a... A person to lean on you know what i'm saying like a person to help you out and look at because i feel like with the cups too like they'll be there for you emotionally you know like they'll they'll listen to you you know like they'll they're like your person you know like they're gonna be like your best friend also like your lover you know what i'm saying like your best friend and your lover in one and that's like the best feeling no 
Then engagement, how funny. Hold on, how funny, yeah. Clarify by the four ones. Like reunion, celebrations, like homecoming, like hey, you know, like all. I love it. Like I absolutely love it. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, and then you have the rejection, but it's like you're trying to be, it's because you're trying to entrust in the divine. You guys are like, you're trying to entrust in the divine to be like, okay, you know what? I'm going to really entrust and really wholeheartedly let go and see what happens and see what unfolds. But it's really depending on you guys, depending on how long you truly want to wait. If you don't really want to wait, like I, I've been saying in a lot of my like love readings or whatever, like if you don't want to wait, you can set a timetable for yourself and say, you know what? I'm going to give this like the next six months and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? And then let me see what the divine has, you know, like maybe, maybe interest in the divine for a little while, you know what I'm saying? And see what happens. Because once you see what happens, you never know. It might happen sooner rather than later. You never know. So it's worth taking the risk. You know what I mean? Because a person needs to go through some sort of spiritual transformation here in order to realize the connection. You know, you can't be like a hello. Duh, 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 duh. Like, you know, you would know if you feel the strong connection with somebody. Like, you can't fight something like that. Right? So it's not like you're going crazy. Like, you both would know, like, yo, this shit is crazy. Right? All right. So that's kind of like the... The energy aspect of things. Now, I'm, I'm going to pull a couple other cards, like love related. You know what I mean? Let me pull a couple of these cards and see what they're saying about the connection with your person collective. Let's see. Give me a love card. Yeah, I'm like sitting here and I'm like, do I do a live? And I'm like, no, because. Oh, for some of you, wow. Okay. I just needed to pull those two. So you got here power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time, which is true. You have the power to see how long you want to stay, how long you want to give to that connection before you say, okay, you know what? Now it's time to make a decision, you know? And some of you, that's how strong it is. It's like a twin flame connection. Again, not everybody gets a twin flame. So it's like when that pops out, yes. Some of you might be actually dealing with the twin flame, but what it is, is that, that energy, like it's just that real passionate type of freaking energy, like just that, that meant to be type of energy, right? But it doesn't necessarily have to be a twin flame. It could be very much a soulmate crazy type of connection too, you know, because soulmates are soulmates, but not all of them, you know, are lovers or whatever. Like some are friends, you know, siblings, shit like that. But that's how strong the connection is like a twin flamey connection that you guys are dealing with collective. Wow. It's like intense. All right, let's see. I'm gonna get some astrology cards too in regards to this connection that you guys are dealing with. Let me get some astrology. i get a couple. There's both one. Imagination, psychic, sacrifice, escapism enchantment neptune yeah see because it's like it's like a lot for a lot of you too i feel like it's like a like that secret connection you know like you have a secret connection with somebody but it's like it could affect a lot of people so you guys are scared to like have this coming together like you guys are scared i get it but yeah you guys are scared you guys are scared to be like oh my god for for some of you not all not everybody's gonna feel like that but Oh shit, let me move my let me move my drink. That shit was burning up next to my candle. I didn't even realize. All right, so you guys got so yeah, so the enchantment, imagination, psychic sacrifice, escapism, Neptune. Some of you are doing with the water sign too. Yeah. A water sign I'm picking up very very strongly plus two here look at all that water blue right and look look how strong the connect look at this I just realized look at the two love cards is the two two couples like it's so funny oh my god I just realized that all right and then last but not least you guys got ninth house spirituality travel aspirations education you know like you guys still want amazing stuff and you really do want to share it with like this person like this is like your person that you want to be like oh my god you know all right i'm gonna get one final card from live to row and then we will close out this energy check-in
for you and your person that you're dealing with that you're not in connection with. One more. One more to close out the reading. Perfect. Alone, look, abandoned, lonely, lost. The divine is with you. What have we been saying? To trust in the divine, right? Anyway, all right, guys, I hope you guys found this helpful. Please let me know. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. And yeah, I'm going to get this uploaded for you. And I hope you guys enjoy. Love and appreciate you. Bye.